Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent, immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So we have someone that's feeling way down and burdened. Someone may be overdoing something, overextending themselves. I think this is someone that's working really hard to block someone's wish fulfillment behind the scenes. There may be a gentleman out here uh, that is heartbroken because he's not able to stop you from receiving some type of abundance, some type of offer of love, uh, offer of love, offer of work, opportunity, whatever this is. Someone is very burdened that you're going to be receiving something that is just due to you. This is a masculine that may have some type of mental illness. When I was shuffling through my cars, a lot of source cars were showing. So someone could be struggling with some type of mental illness and they're not willing to take care of it. Or this could just be someone that's acting out of their ego. Someone may have been plotting some type of ending for you, but they're going through karma, going through some type of financial light. All of this is going to be exposed or be, all is being exposed. This person may not be happy that the truth is being exposed about them. Um, and also that people may be seeing you in your genuine light. Maybe this is someone that was spreading rumors about you and uh, was giving false friendships to people trying to get them on some type of bandwagon to go up against you and try to destroy you. Uh, and maybe they are pissed off that you may know the truth that they are the common denominator within a community um, that have had people coming up against you. This person, I was about to say this man, could be a man, could be a Sagittarius, because I saw that car pop up a lot when I was shuffling my deck. This could be a, a Sagittarius or like a fire, a king of wands, some type of crazy person out here. I'm sorry, not all Sagittarius or king of wands are crazy, of course, but whoever I'm picking up on, this is just someone that's working overtime to block your wish fulfillment, love offer, you coming out of the cold, you being seen as someone that's genuine, you having a new beginning, like this man don't want you having anything in life. He wants you to be miserable. And I'm not quite sure, yeah, this, it is a Sagittarius. I'm not quite sure why this person is so set on making your life miserable. Maybe you may have rejected someone or maybe someone wants, you, wants to put you in your place as a feminine energy or a younger male energy. I don't know what this is. I'm so, seeing the page of cups out here, so it could have to do with your youthfulness. Maybe someone does not like the fact that you have a lot of uh, vibrance about yourself, a lot of life, lively energy. Your essence is very pure, very genuine, and maybe someone has been out here telling people that you're the opposite, and instead of people seeing that now, maybe people are starting to see you for who you are. They're seeing you as wish fulfillment. Um, this person can still, could still be out here trying to get people to come up against you, but maybe people don't want to be on that bandwagon anymore because they see this person for the fraud that they are. Regardless of what this person is doing, because what they want to do is to have you so weighed down and burdened that you don't focus or do any of the things that you're supposed to do. So then whatever abundance you're supposed to have coming into you, you end up missing. Um, they don't want people working with you. So this could be someone that's like doing a whole lot behind the scenes, right? For example, like, uh, I'm going to use my situation as an example. Like, I have someone out here that is, like, shutting down my systems and things like that. Like, when I sit down to work, they'll get in there, turn off the internet, um, shut off the phone, something. Like, literally, I went and got a new phone, I think, on, like, July the 1st or something like that. And someone already has access to that phone, and they're already doing stuff in there. Like, I haven't had access to my phone since, like, uh, I think sometime last night for about 24 hours so i've had to kind of when i kind of woke up this morning and found out what, what was going on i was just like you know what i'm not gonna like get pressed about this so what i did was just go get some sleep read a book i like reading james Patterson, so i just took some time today to re-relax and then maybe around like 5 30 ish i was like, let me figure out how to undo this mess but someone maybe that's the same situation you are going through someone could be very determined to just stop you from having wish fulfillment having joy in life overall 
maybe someone is used to being able to manipulate women and things like that to get them to do what it is that he want them to do but for some reason they're not able to manipulate you and for me i can't say that's that's what's going on because honestly i'm someone that keeps to myself i haven't dated in five years i don't bother people i don't really talk to a lot of people i kind of just do my work i work from home so i don't know if this will have anything to do with like a relationship when it comes to me um but for you for you all, I'm seeing a lot of like wish fulfillment, love, you coming out of the cold and things like that. You being seen as genuine, having new opportunities, maybe even relocating or something like that. Um, but there's someone in the background of some of you that are really just turned to, to make sure that you don't have a happy day in your life. This person could have been collaborating with other people behind the scenes smearing your character, defaming you. What I also see for this King of Wands is that there's some type of legal issues that is coming up for this person. Someone may get arrested at work as well. Like uh, a police, the police may go into some type of community or wherever this man lives, someone may go, someone may get arrested either at their residence or where they work, okay? But whoever I picked up on, this is a King of Wands. It's a cold-blooded narcissist. Going through karma, like I said, he was planning to take you out, trying to stop you, defeat you, have you taken out or something like that. And it looks like that's what's happening to him. It's that whatever this person has been trying to manifest for you is what the universe is uh, returning to him. And this man could be very burdened because he knows that you are aware that he's the one doing something, but he may not care at the same time because this is someone that's kind of mentally gone. Uh, someone is very manipulative. They're very, I don't know like what even the word is to you to, 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 to describe this man. Like there's something with someone's mental. It's like he likes to play like really childish, immature games and things like that. He gets a thrill out of it. I don't know if someone has some type of childhood that was just unsteady. Uh, maybe a lot of setbacks. Maybe they didn't grow up privileged and things like that. I don't know what this has to do with. But there's a man out here with some type of childish mindset. He may be mentally unstable as well. This is someone who, when they are about themselves, all they think about is how to destroy someone that he thinks has offended him, has crossed him, or someone he believes does not deserve whatever it is they have or has coming towards them. And it's not that he has a place to even do that. Nobody has a place to decide what other people should have should not have but there's something about this man's mental that is not where it's supposed to be um uh, someone wants to keep something going maybe having a hard time finding alliances because maybe people are starting to see through this person they're starting to see why it is that he's coming after you trying to make your life miserable maybe this person started off with telling lies and people were believing the lies before and now they're not believing the lies anymore because people are seeing you as a page of cups someone that's very genuine that does not mean that you're only a page of cups it just means that you're someone very genuine someone very eccentric very spiritually gifted talented and things like that but these are all attributes that this man has been trying to hide and have people look at you like you're someone crazy uh someone very deplorable and all kinds of stuff someone that does nothing but self-sabotage and you know maybe maybe into rituals and things like that and people are finding out that you're not into any of those things you may have an emperor that's coming towards you and this man is trying to weigh you down even weigh this emperor down do some type of manipulation cause some type of blockages stagnations all kinds of stuff so that you don't have any of these uh new beginnings offers abundance with this emperor that wants to possibly connect with you this man this uh sagittarius behind the scenes is trying to destabilize you he wants you to lose your independence because this is a man that is more than likely used to people that have to have their hands out to him um yeah, he cannot cause uh, stagnations or blockages for you, still makes for you, cannot cause any more illusions, cannot cause any more conflict, there's clarity about a situation. But what I'm feeling is that this is a, a man, a gentleman, a masculine, whatever he considers himself to be. Uh, this is someone that feels that women have their place in... Um, in society he feels like men are you know the at, at the top of the pyramid and women are there to be told what to do women are there to be seen but not heard uh he may not like your attitude the fact that you're free-spirited as that page of cups this man just does not like any of those attributes this man likes women that are seen and not heard he don't want you to have a mind of your own he don't want you to feel good about yourself because this is someone that does not feel good about himself this is like someone that's very I don't want to, like, someone is hurting on the inside, but the way they 
express that hurt is by hurting other people that have not done anything to them. Uh, this person may even need your help to heal him, but he's done too much behind the scenes and he knows that you are aware that he's the one doing this. So it's like, it may feel hard for him to come towards you to ask you for help. So because he knows he's not really able to come towards you and ask you for help, he feels like then he has to destroy you, right? Um, there's something about a lot of emotions. Someone may be oddly attracted to you you're not you're not his type he's not your type but he has some type of attraction to you and it may be pissing him off that he's even attracted to you as well so this man is very complicated but at the end at the base of it all this is just someone that's hurting on the inside needs help doesn't want to ask for help it's not interested in asking for help this is someone that's very stubborn and stuck in their ways um and is it's about to backfire on him really bad. Someone may end up in like prison, like doing some really hard time for something they've been doing for a long time as well. So all of these burdens that he's been trying to cause, all the confusion, so just just too much, the chaos and all of that, everything, there's clarity coming out about it, right? Maybe someone wanted you wanted you to come across as someone that's very lazy. Un uh, not dependable, unreliable, right? Uh, uh, not responsible, things like that. But what really is happening is that people are having clarity that that's not true. He's the one that's been taking some type of action behind the scenes to cause you stagnations, maybe even trying to have you look like someone that's very impulsive and reckless, someone that does not care about what it is they're doing, like you're content with things just not things not being in order, but in reality, you are someone that's very organized, someone that really cares about everything you do. Um, so like I was using my example, whoever that would be in my situation, it's like they will, if they're going in and cutting off internet services, they're shutting down networks and things like that. And I have work to do, right? Uh, let's just, uh, because typically I'm someone that, that likes to kind of get my job done and go by my day. Uh, and I'm not saying I'm perfect. I have my days where I don't feel like working, but uh, nine out of 10 times, I prefer to just kind of get my work done and move on. Uh, and I will show up to work every day. It don't matter like what's going on. Even if I'm sick, I'm going to show up to work. I may not work the full day, but I'm going to show up and get something done, right? Um, someone like this, what they're doing is trying to make you look like you don't care. You're lazy. You're on. You're, you're not reliable. As I said, um, you're not worth investing into. You're not someone to work with. All these negative attributes that are really what he is, right? Things that things that are applicable to him, not to you, but to him. So what he's doing is some form of dark magic to project onto you, so then people see him. As you know, this person that's hardworking, this person that's very, you know, in the upright, whatever this is. But then people see you as the lazy person, um, someone that's a waste of time, someone that does not need to have the position that they have, someone that's in the wrong place, in the wrong company, someone that's a facade. But what really is happening is the other way around. People are starting to see this. Whoever this is, for some of you, this could be a man, this could be a woman, uh, whoever this is, people are starting to see the truth. People may even want to connect with you and have some type of friendship with you. Uh, and they may, they may be trying to figure out how it is they can get in contact with you, how they can communicate with you to balance something out. But this is something a man has been doing for a long time is lying lying uh, about a queen of swords behind the scenes and very like i don't know if this man has some type of sick obsession with you um but he may have a lot of love for you but the way he's going about it is just not mature it's just not responsible it's just not tactful nothing diplomatic about it um if like you were to sit and try to come up with the age group of this person with the kind of way he's acting you would probably think this was like a teenager by the way he moves okay Okay. Um, but something is going to be balanced out. Someone is going to be going through some type of tower and it's going to humble them because it's like this person has been working really hard to have you in like a five of pentacles energy, five of cups energy. So basically he does not want you being stable in any way, shape or form. He wants to destabilize your, your foundation. He wants people to reject you. You're a queen of cups and you're about to be having some type of abundance, some type of fresh start in life. You may be relocating or something like that. But this man basically wants you to be isolated, rejected, left out in the cold, out here embarrassed, don't got nothing to your name, no love, no money, no nothing, just nothing, just like just out here, just looking like 
Just, just a homeless person basically with nothing. You hear me? You fear me. This is what this person is trying to manifest for you, but the universe is giving them a big fat no. It said, uh-uh. This person you're trying to destroy, they're going to be connecting with new people, connecting with their soul trap, living in confidence, you know, enjoying life. There's someone that's meant to be abundant, and he's trying to block your abundance. I don't know. Like, these kind of men, like, they give me, like, an eerie vibe. It's not even that I'm afraid of them. It's just like they just gave me like a disgusting feeling. It's that of all the things to become in this lifetime, why choose to be this disgusting energy? Why choose to waste your life on this earth to do something like this? You know how much you can make, how much, what good you can do in the world if you will invest in yourself? Like... And this is not someone young I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on someone that's in like their 40s or 50s, something like that. And they're out here just acting like a boy, a little boy. It, it is so sad. It's sad and pathetic as heck. Um, anyways, this man connections with other people because this is someone that's been networking is what I'm hearing. He's been networking with other people. All the, the networking is over. People don't want to work with this person anymore. He may have gone, been going from their business to business, neighborhoods to neighborhoods, community to communities, uh, to get people to think and act like him when it comes to words, when it comes to you. Uh, so someone wants people to view you in like a negative mindset. This could be a King of Cups as well. That's doing something. I don't know. There, there's something eerie. I don't know if someone presents themselves to be a King of Cups, but he's really not a King of Cups. This is someone that's like mentally unstable, but pretends to be in the upright. Uh, he's stuck in his mind as well that things are going to be balanced out for you. Someone maybe even feeling bothered by the fact that maybe a community of people or a couple, uh, a couple is choosing to defend you, to work with you, uh, to stand up for you because they know this person is a nutcase. Um, and then, yeah, he's a freaking nutcase and he's going through some type of emotional damage or something. I don't know. I don't know what the heck this is, baby. This is like too low vibrational for me. I don't say stuff like that to hurt people's feelings, but at a certain time in your life, you got to learn how to mature and just kind of try to make things work. Life is not always going to be perfect or peachy, but that don't mean you can come out here and try to cause havoc in people's life, okay? So, yes, things are being balanced out. You may have had a queen of swords in here that was working with him or has been working with him, telling a lot of lies, trying to cause you some type of legal issues as well. That's not even justifiable. Like, they've been trying to get you caught up in some type of legal issues uh, so that either you can go get locked up or you can end up being binded to some type of dark uh, contract. I don't know what this is, but there's someone in the court system that this person may know that is not in the upright. Okay. So they may have been working with some type of, uh, a crooked lawyer, crooked judge, crooked police officer to do you something, right? Get you caught up in some way, shape or form and say, Hey, when he leaves the house or when she leaves the house, we want you to go and do this. Okay. So there's something like that going on. Like get you arrested for something, have you trapped in something Like whatever this is, is a level of malicious, maliciousness and wickedness. And just this level is, I, I don't even want to look into it because it is just too dark. Something is just too dark. And I don't even know if these people know that there's something wrong with them. But sometimes these kind of people don't care what's wrong with them. They just do things because of the heck of it. They're hurting. So they want other people to hurry. And they don't want to hear the truth about themselves. So they rather keep pretending like everything is okay. Meanwhile, it's nothing but conflict behind the scenes. So I don't know what the heck this is. But I, what I have picked up on is that there's legal issues coming in. Someone is going to get locked up. Someone may end up having to pay a hefty amount of money. Um, something like a thousands of dollars because someone has caused a lot of damages. Yes. So they've been trying to get you cut up in some type of uh, court case that's not even feasible. Something that's illegal. Uh, this is someone that abuses their power, abuses their authority, misuses their connections in the legal system. Someone does not care about doing things the right way. Uh, there could be someone going through bad karma. 
it will be whoever is working with him and he himself they're going through some type of karma in this situation and is and, it, and it's justifiable because this is someone that's picking fights with someone that is not even paying him any money you haven't done anything to this person uh they may be receiving some type of communication about them uh, being trapped in some type of situation is that like, oh you know how you were trying to trap that person in some type of legal case or court case now you're trapped in something you're bonded in something you're going to jail or you got to pay this uh, amount of money to this person for restitution that like someone is cut up they've received some type of message they are cut up in some type of situation maybe they thought they were going to get you cut up in a court case but now this is what they didn't see they're cut up in some type of situation this is crazy like why would you do this to yourself voluntarily just because you one you're obsessed with someone but you hate them at the same time i've never gotten that if, if, if it's flip floppy one day you like someone one day you don't like them just let it go it's not that serious it's like there are millions of fish in the seas, okay? There are billions of women alive. There are billions of men alive. Go find you something or someone else, okay? If it don't work with one person, someone don't want to be with you, go find somebody else to be with, darling. It's a lot of single people out here. Single people ready to mingle. Go, go, go bother one of them. Leave these other people alone. Golly. Oh my gosh. And something I'm hearing as well, this man is terrified of being exposed. But it's that you're already you're already exposed. And even if he's afraid of being exposed, it's that the actions you're taking are exposing you even more. I don't know if you think if you thought of it that way. Like whatever you're doing is exposing you even more. It's not helping you. I don't get it. Look at yeah, this chapter is over, darling. This chapter is over. All the con uh, this listen. I don't even know what word to use. The foolishness, because this is so foolish. This was like unnecessary. This is unnecessary drama. I don't know if someone's trying to get some type of merit, gain some type of merit or position within an institution. This is not how to go about it. Sometimes people join these types of institution not knowing they're being tested because what they're thinking also with this page of cups out here, more than likely you're aware of whoever this person is that's doing something. So more than likely you were kind to this person and they still went ahead and did something to you. So what that institution will be seeing then is, oh, wow, this person was nice to you and you did this to them. What about us that you're trying to partner up with? What are you going to do to us if something don't go your way, if you don't get what you want? Sometimes these people don't even be paying attention to what it is they're doing, the messages they're sending by their action, their body language, their words, and things like that. Because you're out here trying to get a stranger or someone that showed you some love or something or some type of friendship, and you're out here trying to destroy them, but you want this institution to trust you. It's a double-edged sword. They can't trust you. So you're binded in some type of situation, and I can guarantee you this institution is not coming to bail you out. They are not coming to give you any money. They're not coming to vouch for you in any way, shape, or form. They don't know you. Their name is missing, and they're not in it. It's how they're about to be with you. I think someone feels invincible because of their connection to an institution. Maybe this institution is about to leave you out in the cold that we don't know him. We don't know her. We don't know what they're talking about. We didn't tell them to do that. We didn't teach them to, to, to do nothing. He just works for us. He just uh, uh, works. She just works for us nine to five as a manager here, uh, as an employee, employee. That's it. Anything else he's doing outside of here, we don't know. If he was using our computer to do something, we didn't give him proof. Uh, we didn't give him a, a, a authority or clearance to do that. So we don't know nothing about that. Okay. Baby, I don't know what the, this man thinks is about to happen, but you're going to jail. You got problems coming in. You're out here trying to take people's independence and uh, uh, security away, and you're about to lose it too. You may end up losing a relationship or some type of connection that's very dear to you. Sure. I don't know what is wrong. Like The, the whole community, they know the truth. They're about to see you like as nothing but a joke. Nothing but a joke. I'm telling you, this chapter is over. This emperor and this queen of cups, baby, they're getting together. You've been trying to weigh down a queen of cups in the upright. There's one around you that's weighed down as well, possibly for partnering up with you. So there are 
two different couples, one in the upright, one in the reverse. The Queen of Cups reverse is feeling way down and burdened for coming up against someone else, lying and, and, and lying about someone else. You, baby, I don't know what the truth is. I don't know what it is that's about to happen to you, but you're about to be going through it. Like, through it. You ain't gonna die, but when you're going through it, you're gonna wish you were dead. Trust me. It's some type of karma is about to play out for you. Who? The karma that's about to play out for you? It ain't no joke. And I, I'm not even about to BS you. You're about to be out here looking crazy. When I say crazy, crazy. But this chapter is over. Clarity is here. Uh, this emperor that you are trying to manipulate, baby, he, he knows the truth. He knows. I don't know who this emperor is that you're trying to manipulate and have him turn against someone, have him shun someone, reject someone. He knows the truth. Someone has common sense, unlike you. He, he either don't want to participate or no longer wants to be affiliated with you. Whatever this is, baby, I'm getting out your energy. It's just a little bit too much for me. Um, I got better things to be doing with my time than to be worried about what God is doing to you. That's your business. Whatever God is doing to you, that's what you ask for. You say you were okay with it. So you two must have a plan. You two must have some type of agreement. I'm telling you, you got some type of agreement. That, that tower that he sent, he or she it is sending you, you two got a contract. So you, you got to figure it out. But as for me, I don't want no parts of it. I'm good over here. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good over here. Okay. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next week. Goodbye for now.